going on you guys so I'm in like I'm in beast record everything mode slash make my setup a lot better slash everything so I I recorded my ride on the way to work this morning which I think is gonna be a separate video I don't know yet but in that video, I was saying I want to get my setup working better. I wanted to put my camera on the bottom of my helmet on the left. Well, that wasn't going to work. So I was going to so put it on the bottom right. And I was able to mount it just fine. Problem was, I don't have any more of the mounting. I only have, like, the standard mounting solution for my GoPro. And it kept the GoPro at a 90 degree angle. So when I was recording, the widescreen was vertical and there was no like record at 90 degree option on the GoPro. I was like, shit. And I mean, I could have edited it, but it would have been all funky. So I was like, no, uh -uh, not, not working. So I ended up moving it to the front chin of my helmet. And I think it's gonna work out perfectly because you're gonna be able to see my bike pretty sure you're going to be able to see, you know, the typical portion of my bike that you'd see in the Moto Vlog, which is originally my goal to get rid of that. Let me defog my helmet really quickly. Alrighty, I can see you again. But the... For some reason, I was recently, I'm like, I kind of like being able to see the bike. I don't know. And I also realized that with my GoPro on the top like that, it was so far away from the center of rotation of the helmet that every little thing I did was really wobbly on the video. So this should be a little more sturdy. Sturdy? Is that what I just said? Should be a little more less. Should be less shaky, more stabilized. Hopefully. This is all theoretical. And I'm testing it for the first time, so if this gets to YouTube, it must have succeeded. Also, it's dark, and I just got off work. It's 11, 15. My clock is wrong. I don't even know if you can see the clock, but my clock is off by an hour because the time changed recently. I'm thinking about doing a, a video on how to change the clock, because I just learned recently, and I would probably never have figured it out had I not looked it up. So I thought maybe I'd help you guys out with that as well. It seems that R6s are a very popular trend in the moto vlogging industry. So... Yeah! Now you see things, and now you don't. And now you see things, and now you don't. It is pretty nice being able to... Like... Touch my GoPro. Don't... Uh, I'm just gonna go with it. It is nice being able to, like... Manipulate my GoPro without like looking retarded and like shoving my hand all the way up on my head and there's a lot of wind that comes into play with that as well I also replaced the battery in my microphone Because I have no idea when it's gonna die. I've been I did it's the same It's the Nilla battery that came with it and I started my vlogs with it It got washed as well. My, my microphone got washed uh, It survived Obviously, but yep. So if this setup works really well, like I'm really hoping it's going to, I'll put a little video up about my setup for any of you guys who are curious. I'll see if I can include my microphone like number or part number, like what, what I got it from Radio Shack, but. I've got a couple PMs about what kind of microphone it was. So I'll see if I can figure that out for you guys as well. That was a very... colorful truck. I know there's better words to use than that, but... quite frankly, I'm kind of tired. Or like this. But I think now you're just looking straight into my... 
They just like, you're probably looking straight into my, my center console right now, aren't you? Center console, what is that called? On a bike? Under my windscreen? My under windscreen control unit panel object of controls? We're gonna call it that now. My next goal slash modifications, damn it, yellow. Modification for this helmet is, I have an old pair of, I actually have two old pairs of Sony XB500s. Thank you to the malls for the other pair. A good IRL friend who also does some YouTube videos with me in them. So you should check him out. But yes, I want to take those old pair of headphones and just take the this, this speakers out of them. I think they're 30 millimeter drivers. I want to shove those behind the cushions on this in this helmet and then in a perfect world wire it to a bluetooth little dongle thing <laughs> dongle but in the real world i'm just gonna cut the auxiliary connection off the end of it and wire on a new one because that was the problem with them i just run that to my helmet my helmet run that from my helmet to my my phone Maybe see if I can wire a microphone into it. And then a little button so I can answer calls while I'm writing. That'd be cool. Now we're getting fancy. But I do have an, a real weekend. Ah, uh, I forgot I can't look that way with my visor like this and it just flips up. Whoops. I was just saying, oh yes. Realistic goal for this weekend is... I'm sure you guys have had this happen and I'm pretty sure it's a very common problem with the with with those who go far distances on motorcycles is their phones die or their electronics die and they don't have a place to charge them on the road and say you're using a navigation you're kind of screwed and i got i'm not sure how i'm going to do it yet i have a couple options i mean i'm going to obviously wire it to my probably rear brake light or headlights or something that you know, only has power with the key on. But I ha I got a old Mercedes. Old Mercedes car lighter. You know, those AC. I think they're AC. I don't know. Maybe DC. The, the freaking little lighter plug things that you can use to power things in a car. I got one of those from a co worker who's worked for Mercedes. So I'm probably going to do something with that or just wire to a s straight into a uh, standard. I love this part of my ride. I would go faster for you guys, but this is a sketchy place for cops. One day I would just want to straight up floor it all the way. It's a great place to do that. Good, you're still there. I have the wrong, the wrong kind of sticky pad for this thing. And I use them from work, but it was the, the mount, the base sticky mount part. The part that sticks to your helmet is, is curved and I needed a more flat one. I improvised and it's working, but I don't, you know. So I just, yeah, you, you know, you do. As I was saying before I got really distracted, wiring, power, motorcycle, blah, 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 blah. It's just standard wall outlet, I don't know yet. Maybe just into a USB, into a female USB, so I can just pop male USBs into it and charge through that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But I want to do that for you guys this weekend. Make a little video of it. All that good stuff. Because I do those things again. Okay. There is something in my eye. This is a problem. Is it going to... 
Is it going to move itself out? All right. One eye visibility right now. That is safe. Ah. Ah. I'm tearing like a motherfucker right now out of one eye. It's not out, but it's no longer painful. I'm going to persevere. Oh, how does it going to happen to you guys? Oh, look at that ride, like... I've had... I can count all the times on... On one hand, I think, that I've had to pull over because something got in my eye, but... That's still a decent amount for only about a year. Nine, eight, seven, ten... Ten months, roughly. Alright, it is hiding somewhere in the crevices of my eye that don't have nerves. So we're good again. I'll find it at some point. It'll probably resurface during the ride at some point. Be like, oh, hi there, remember me? Yeah! So we'll see. Oh. Alright, guys. I will see you in my next video. If you like the video, like it. If you're feeling frisky, subscribe. You know, that probably should have been risky. That's a much better term to use. I might just stick with frisky from now on. You guys feeling frisky? I am. Feeling frisky for some riding. If that can, is that even a, can you use that as a sentence?